Hi, how's it going everybody? So today I've been playing with Body Picks, which is a body part segmentation model for TensorFlow. So let's have a look at what it can do. So this is the Body Picks GitHub page. I'll provide all the links down in the description. And as you can see, you can kind of figure out what it does by looking at this. And we go over here. Um, this guy wrote a nice blog on how he used it. Now, as you can see, he did this with it so that when he's in Zoom or whatever, he can look like he's in Star Wars and remove the back, replace the background. And there's also this GitHub page here, and this is how I've set it up using Docker because, you know, I don't have to worry about whether I've got the right version of CUDA and all that stuff. It's just, just Docker. Use Docker. Um, now, the instructions on this page, though, are for, like, Ubuntu or Debian. But everything in here you can find in the Manjaro repos, so, um, or in the AUR, so you can get this going on Manjaro, which is what I'm running. And these ins instructions are pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll enable it. First, I have to disable my webcam. There we go, webcam disabled. Now I have to start this container here. Now, as you can see, in a lot of use cases like mine, it does not do a very good job. You can still see things behind me. And if I put my hands up, it doesn't always detect them right away. And it doesn't mask it very well, and I've tried tinkering with the settings. I'll go back there and you can still see it's working. Now, another one of the limitations with this is if you're doing it in real time, like not a pre-recorded video, this one's in real time, um, you can, it only really works up to 480p, which is kind of crap. <laughs> But um, 480p is fine if you just want it to be down here in the corner, like this. Now, let us try what this guy did here. So, in order to accomplish that, from the Docker file, we can just... This was commented out, and go save, and we can try to apply that effect. Now, I'm going to actually freeze for a second when this container restarts. There we go. I'm a hologram. And there we go. Yeah, that's just my head's disappearing. OBS is doing that as part of the chroma key. I can adjust that setting. So if you applied an effect such as this, and you were just down here in the corner, I guess then something like this would be acceptable. Now, those of you that are curious, these are the results I got from NVIDIA Broadcast. And I had to boot into Windows to test this out. And that took forever because I hadn't booted into it in about... 11 months and it had to do a whole bunch of updates and it took forever but i did it for you guys so as you can see it actually does it very well and it's it's only going to get better as it gets more training data now there is hope for us linux users in regards to the nvidia video effects background removal now there is this video effects sdk linux but for now, it's invitation only, and I do hope they eventually open source this. Now, I should point out that body segmentation has lots of uses. It's not just for removing the backgrounds. For example, you could use it for full body tracking without all the fancy equipment. So you could use it for animation. That's another use case for it. Anyways, that was a brief look at body fix. I think it's both amazing and terrifying. Uh, what AI can do, and where it's heading. Soon you won't even need green screens to make films anymore. 
but in its current state, even the video one, it's not ideal for full screen video like this. I mean, it's okay if you if you're just down in the corner and you're screen capturing or playing a game or something. It's okay for that use case, but it's only going to get better and soon you'll be able to make full films with it. The thing is, the AI can even handle the lighting and all that for you. So, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyways, see you all later. Thanks for watching.